Koyanant, good evening fellow South Africans and citizens of the world. Now, I've come across a, a video which is very, very important for everybody to watch because it kind of explains and sets out the various stages of COVID infection. And what many of us don't realize how critically important it is to understand the various stages and when to actually get medical help. And this video kind of spells it out. And please watch it carefully from where to go. Because um, if you do have the first signs of COVID, this will explain to you how to actually handle it. And um, wow, I just wish this information had become available sooner. Please remember to subscribe to Loving Life on YouTube to be kept informed. Please remember to register on LovingLifeTV.com to be kept informed. That's the platform we're transitioning to. Please remember to like this video, to share this video, and above all, please stay safe. Bye for now. Corona pandemic has been raging for the last one and a half years now. Things seem hopeless, but we know so much more about the virus now. So much more about what happens and what are the implications to the human body from the infection. But look at the first symptom that happened. And the first symptom that happened may be sore throat, irritation in the throat, cough, fever, body ache, headache. Occasionally, loose motions also. But any or all of these are possible. And this is something which you must keep in mind as the first day of your infection producing symptom. The day one of your symptom. The coronavirus lodges in the throat and enters these cells in our pharynx as we call it medically, the throat, and it becomes a part of this cell. It becomes a part of the cell because it overcomes the cell metabolism to its own advantage and uses the cell to multiply and make its own replicas. So within a short span of one or two days, you have millions of viruses within the cells that are infected. And once this invasion has happened into the cells and the numbers have multiplied, we have the body recognizing there is an invasion. The body then fights. Body fights by producing what are known as antibodies. That's the normal process. All viruses, all viruses that infect our body are eliminated. They are not eliminated by drugs. They are eliminated by your own body's immune system producing antibodies and attacking and killing the virus. Usually it's about the fourth, fifth day when the antibodies are sufficient in number, the viruses are in large number and there's a fight between the two. And in this fight, there are what are known as chemicals released into the bloodstream. These are known as cytokines. And these chemicals cause the body to have a higher temperature. They have fever, body to have myalgia, body aches. If it is a throat infection, they have sore throat. It causes a little cough from that irritation there. So these are consequences of the virus being there in the body in large numbers and the fight going on. Once that has happened, the sore throat may persist, the fever may go little high, the second day fever is there, third day fever is there, usually by fourth day fever comes down. In 80% of cases, this is the end result of the whole infection. 80% of people with the virus infection have only minor symptoms which settle in 3-4 days time and they are happily moving around. However, the disease in 10 to 15 percent or maybe 20 percent takes a dangerous turn. Three key symptoms that tell you, warn you that the disease is going to a dangerous turn are fever that becomes higher grade than what it was before or if there's no fever, new fever, usually more than 100 degree Fahrenheit that comes up. Second, a chest congestion or a difficulty in your inspiration expiration process and the third is a deep kind of a cough which makes it difficult for you even when you lie down so on the fifth sixth day if the patient has high fever has bad cough and had breathlessness think of 
the onset of a cytokine shower and you have to prevent this at this stage from the shower to become a storm to prevent the cytokines from being released in large numbers the steroid that we give either orally or parenterally and that will prevent the cytokine shower becoming a big storm and causing the devastating consequences that we are seeing so two key medicines that we have to do at this stage are the anticoagulants combined with the steroids but remember steroids are not to be taken lightly anticoagulants are not to be taken lightly so do not do this on your own do it on the recommendation of a physician you would have managed the storm from happening managed the worsening of the disease and most patients have a good outcome normal human being has 2/3 of the lungs as reserve capacity lung they designed like that so if you tell the patient to sit at home and wait till it starts dropping you will have damaged your lungs to more than 2/3 of its normal functioning ability before your saturation drops then you rush to the hospital then you have to be on oxygen and invariably you go on to the ventilator that's a catastrophic outcome don't wait for that don't sit at home with this digital sensor steroid suppress immunity so you can cause infection so then you started the steroids on the 5th day or 6th day dramatically they become better oh their fever is gone next day their cough is better they feel better they are stronger they are okay especially in the elderly especially those with poor immunity by around 4th day of steroids they start having fever again oh no virus has come back it's not the virus that has come back because the immunity is suppressed the normal bacteria in our lungs they attack our body and cause pneumonia this time it is bacterial pneumonia so this phase of infection is a bacterial infection which needs to be covered with antibiotics so the key message that i'm going to give you are very clear when you think you are positive if your symptoms are fitting in consultation with the doctor you have to manage it like that so don't go by that go by the first symptom if you are asymptomatic after 5 days be happy you are a corona warrior once the dangerous turn is identified then you treat it and prevent the cytokine storm by giving steroids and anticoagulants steroids for 10 days and anticoagulants for 3 weeks based on consultation with your doctor to prevent complications from both these drugs both are dangerous drugs need to be under supervision only so with this understanding of timelines first symptom first 5 days nothing other than maybe some vitamins to supplement yourself and nothing else no role of antibiotics in the first 5 days antibiotics only in the last days of the second 5 day period and once you've got that clear you can avoid going to a hospital you can manage at home in consultation with the doctor without having the serious consequences your need for hospitalization comes when you have missed the bus of recognizing the red flags of the dangerous turn of auto antibodies attacking the blood vessels